All right, so what's up, Cholo? So now you just saw his studio, his music process, and now we're gonna talk about uh, his visual art artistry because believe it or not, man, the shit, he's a genius, man. And the stuff that he comes up with, I'm like, damn, Cholo, that, that could be an album cover. So anyways, so let's talk more about, uh, you started as a visual uh, artist. How did you, how'd you get started? Uh, I've been drawing since I was a little kid. Uh, I just like to draw, so it's what I did. I would draw in class when the teacher was giving a lesson. I wasn't paying attention. Actually, I was paying attention. Uh, the teacher thought I wasn't paying attention, but I actually listen better when I'm doing something instead of just sitting there staring at you while you're talking to me. So I was listening, motherfuckers. Yeah, that's right. But um, so if you have kids, doodling is good. Yes. Yeah, encourage your kids to doodle in class because they're listening, it helps them listen better, and they're coming up with some cool artwork at the same time. So it's just good all around. But yeah. so yeah, so I've been drawing since I was a kid. I was really into uh, Looney Tunes, all the Bugs Bunny cartoons, you know, all that stuff that was on Cartoon Network. I like like uh, I liked Calvin and Hobbes. I read a lot of that growing up. Um, I liked uh, Jan and Vasquez. He did Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, Squee, Invader Zim, Filler Bunny, all that stuff. I read all that. That was awesome. Still love that. Mm -hmm. And um, Rat Fink from the 60s, the guy who did all the custom hot rods and all the guys with the big bulging eyes and big tongues hanging out of their mouth while they're driving hot rods. I was influenced by a lot of that stuff. And... Uh, and some psychedelic stuff too, just random, distorted, trippy, dark shit, all that stuff. But yeah, so I've been drawing since forever, pretty much. Nice. And uh, uh, you also uh, were in San Francisco. Uh, um, yeah. Can you tell us about you? Uh, you know, you studying there. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, because I think that's really interesting uh, experience. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It was cool. I met some really cool people over there. Uh, my my dorm dorm room mates that I had just happened to like to draw, make beats, and smoke weed, which is what I like to do. <laughs> and uh, so it worked out perfectly. And I ended up collaborating with them on a lot of music and learning a lot from them, and collaborating with artwork. Uh, Sorry, collaborating on art projects. And then the school was mostly just technical aspects of illustration. Mm -hmm. So perspective, you know, from a person's point of view, looking up, forward, and down, and everything. And uh, learned about how light hits certain objects and how to illustrate that, like the shading of objects. And just real kind of technical aspects of drawing that might bore the hell out of some people. Um, I was only there for two semesters, so now I'm back here, but I'm still drawing, and I might go back at some point. Which which school was that again? Uh, that was the Academy of Art University. Academy of Art, Cholo. So he's yeah. the real deal. He's not messing around. Okay, sounds good. So um, so that's pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna show you uh, some some of his artwork, and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, what's up guys? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about Isaac's artwork more in depth. So Isaac, why don't you tell, tell us a little bit more about your, your artwork? What's up with this fine chola right here up on that uh, on the speaker? This was a t-shirt design I did for my friend. Uh, his band was called Freakin' On Speakers. So he wanted me to draw a fine looking female freaking a speaker. And that's pretty much what it is right there. And, and, and a fine looking female freaking a speaker that is. Let's go to the next one. And this is pretty cool right here. This is like, a, what's the story with this, this uh, guy? Uh, it's just more just kind of random, dark, evil, demented shit that I just kind of comes off the top of the head. Uh, I wanted to draw something like kind of emerging from the shadows you know, um, sort of like 
I was kind of inspired by the artwork in the Sin City comics on this one. I wanted to kind of mess around with that style, so that's kind of what this is. And you know that that's pretty cool because you know what Sasuke that looks like a like a cool album cover. You know, can you imagine like yeah. like your so your art artist name right there and like some cool demonic shit right there? Absolutely. That that'd be sick. Okay, let's let's go on the next one. Uh, this one, um, this one was a cover for the Santa Barbara Independent. They had a, a barbecue issue, and they commissioned me to do the cover. And there's a, a column in the paper called the Angry Poodle. So I incorporated the Angry Poodle in there, uh, eating some ribs, you know, eat some barbecue, with the sort of classic checkered tablecloth in the background. And that's pretty much, that's all that is right there. And that, that's pretty cool. You know what? Because I was get, believe it or not, some little bit of tidbit of, uh, of background knowledge here. Uh, your dad is actually a famous columnist in Santa Barbara, uh, the Angry Poodle, right? Yeah, my dad writes the Angry Poodle. And uh, you, you did the logo for the Angry Poodle, which uh, I didn't know that, but uh, there it is, Isaac Welsh. Yeah. Kind of homage to pops. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's let's go next. Uh, this I did this one a while back. This is just uh, this kind of illustrates me when it comes to bullshit, when it comes to drama, when it comes to how fucked up the world is and all the crazy stuff that goes on. That's me on the top of my little private tree, away from all the bullshit, just. Enjoying the silence right there. That's pretty much what that is. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people could probably relate to that one. Oh man, that's some that's some weird that's some weird shit right there. Hold on, let's let's move this up a little bit <laughs> for the camera, um, just so we can get this right here. But yeah, tell us tell us about what what exactly is going on in this one. It's pretty intricate right there. Yeah. That's, uh, I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be. I mean, it was just, I just, that was kind of like a stream of consciousness piece right there where I just kind of started, put a, put a mark on the paper and just kind of went from there. And it's, I don't know if you saw that movie Akira. It's like a, one of the most classic Japanese animation movies there is. There's a scene at the very end where a Tetsuo uh, morphs into this giant amoeba mess of human organs and raw energy and that's kind of what this was like I guess inspired from I, like concept wise is my own little version of it uh, yeah that's pretty cool man I like I like the you know like the shadings what, what kind of style is this right here that's that's crosshatch shading Crosshatch, baby. Yeah, Cross yeah. Crosshatch that shit. It's kind of like R. Crumb style shading. Oh yeah. Now we got this this angry vato right here. What's what's the scoop on this guy? That's uh that's that's an old grandma smoking a fat blunt. Damn. And she's gangster as fuck. <laughs> that's a, that's what we call a super OG in the hood, people. That's right. <laughs> that's right. She's just looking right at you, just saying what. You got a problem? I'm gonna smoke this and blow it right in your face. Damn, that's cold, man. That's cold. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of old people like this in the world, people. You just gotta look out for them. Oh, now this, this right here, this is, this is pretty, this is pretty sexy right here. I like this shit. You know why? Cause you know what? Let me tell you. It's got some creepy dudes, and this cool like lighting thing right here. So it's that, that's pretty cool. Tell us, tell us more about this. That's pretty much what you would see if you turned down, if you if you if you made a wrong turn in the wrong neighborhood and you went down the wrong street, you'd bump into these guys, and you would turn back immediately. That's, that's pretty much. That's just supposed to be like some hoods, some 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 goons, just hanging out, you know, on the corner, and that's you know that's the moon in the background, and. Um, yeah, I just wanted to paint a dark night scene like that. Like, just kind of a, a dark, creepy night scene. If you've made a wrong turn down the wrong corner. 
Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. What what's what's the story with this guy? If you're looking at this right now, you might be like, "What what the hell am I looking at? What what are we looking at, Isaac?" This is a cop. <laughs> In true form. And what, what kind of form is that, Isaac? Oh, uh, just true, true shithead evil right there, you know? Not all cops are bad. I'm not saying that. We all know that. But most of them are. <laughs> is, 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 is he a, is a piglet, right? Yeah, he's, he's got that pig demon thing going on. Damn. This was a... I was designing some characters for a, a, a sort of comic book strip. It was going to be like a Dick Tracy in the ghetto type thing <laughs> and all the cops look like this guy right here these are the guys that they're going to be the main characters they're going to be battling against throughout throughout the series so this is uh the character design for what the cops are going to look like pretty much i still haven't worked on that comic but it's 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 in the works it's in the works uh so what do we got here? We got a drummer guy, and he's like, you know, he's doing his thing. That's pretty much it. He's just a drummer guy doing his thing. I was just, uh, I was. This was back. This I drew this back in high school, and I was just drawing. I had a few other pictures in this series, but I was just drawing different musicians playing various instruments, and stylizing all the instruments, you know, in a sort of cartoony style, you know, non-realistic. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. It's just a picture of a guy playing the drums. Nice. All right, right here. Who who's this guy? It looks uh, kind of familiar. I think I met this one before. That's that's me, right there. That's my alter ego. That's uh, no, that's 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 my boombox character that I've been doing since I was about fifteen. Um, and he's he's sort of like my logo, my my like my icon character. Sort of like, uh, I don't know if you listen to Mad Lib, but Quasimodo is his kind of alter ego character. This is like the equivalent of that for me. That's cool. And he's got like all kinds of uh, variations on this character. So it's it's pretty cool to see what he comes up with. So let's let's see what we, what we got. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. That's, Bam. That's another one. And and this is pretty cool, Isaac. I like how uh, you got like the sound, like you're you're interpreting the 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 sound waves, right? Yeah, yeah. All that, the frequencies and the vibrations going up. That's supposed to be illustrated sound. That's pretty cool, guys. I mean, this guy's this guy's a fucking genius. Let's go to the next one. Oh shit, that's sick. That's nice. sick. Look, look, look at like he's got like a, like a a basement, right? He's in the basement yeah. and working on the beats. Yeah, he's down and deep in the basement working on some beats, just losing his mind, being crazy, being weird. I mean, how, how many uh, uh, producers out there, you know, can identify with this? You know, you're in the you're in your uh, your man cave, the beat cave. You know what I'm saying? And you're and you're going ham on that shit. Mm-hmm. And you and you could get some of these designs on T-shirts. So if you like some of this stuff, you go to our website. We got this shit on T-shirt. You can get any size you want, man. Or some posters. Decorate your shit. There you go. Yeah, decorate that beat cape, guys. All right, let's go. Let's do the next one. And this one is another one that's just supposed to be illustrated sound, pretty much. I'm trying to illustrate the the moods the tones the frequencies the different layers of each frequency coming out of the sound system pretty much in in colors and textures and all that and th this is pretty cool because he's got like the colors that he uses you know what i'm saying uh i remember i was watching this shit uh, uh kanye west i think he studied art too and he was talking about how he sees sound and, and colors and stuff like that so it's it's cool to see the artwork that actually uh sounds like music you know yeah but 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 fuck kanye west <laughs> Good to edit that shit okay so this is pretty cool what do we got uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. um 
And then uh, we've got oh, oh this is this is has some meaning behind it. What, what's going the story behind this one? This is a this is like a perspective illustration. If if you were if you were a mosquito buzzing around a room, and you were flying up above someone as they were taking a whole thing of pills to the face, that would be the point of view of the mosquito right there, looking down the guy's mouth as he's just pouring all the pills down his throat. Damn. And, uh, you know. That's pretty deep right there, because, he, he, you know, he's like a mosquito watching this dude, but, like, if you actually think about the message behind it, it's like the guy's putting a whole bunch of pills in his throat, you know? That's like, that's some meaning shit, you know? It's like it, a... There, yeah, there could be a lot of different meaning to that, but... Yeah. He could be trying to kill himself. He could be trying to get a buzz on. He could be taking his medication. I mean, people take pills for a lot of different reasons. And uh, yeah, that you know what that that looks like some iconic imagery to me. You know what I'm saying? That you could put like a, your your band name right there. That could be an album cover. I'm just throwing some ideas out there, people, because I know there's some of you guys are just mouths are watering over this artwork, man. You guys are just getting hard on this shit and i'm like you know what i don't blame you <laughs> all right cool so uh that's uh, some of his artwork all right and uh yeah <clears throat> all right cholo so so you just saw some of his artwork uh from the man himself the genius isaac welsh and if you want to call me that <laughs> if you want to get in touch with them uh just go to the go to our website contact us um, if you like his artwork uh, and you want, you know, to commission him for a piece or something like that, feel free to contact us. Um, he, you know, he's really talented. So, uh, also, if you like his stuff and you want to decorate your beat cave or you know your dorm room or whatever, we got posters, we got T-shirts uh, with his artwork. So you could definitely uh, check that out what he said <laughs> all right so thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh yeah yeah peace